Hello, Enthusiast Terraria. Wait a second, that's not right. Hello, Terraria Enthusiast. Now, sometimes things aren't perfect the first time around, and that's true for most things, and especially when it comes to game design. Now, it's no secret that there are people out there who will rummage through art assets of a game and stumble across things that are no longer in the game or were later removed. And that's what we're going to be talking about in today's video. Terraria has been in working development since 2011 and has been constantly changing and evolving. And so it makes sense that some items have to be removed for balancing issues or maybe they're just removed because they no longer fit in. So let's take a look at 5 items buried away that have been removed or never made obtainable in Terraria with a bonus one at the end. So with that out of the way, let's begin. Five. Now, coming up in the number 5 slot is a pretty awesome looking weapon that has been made unobtainable when it was first introduced in the 1.2 patch. Despite being able to be spawned in through hacks and having a swing animation and sprite, when striking an enemy it would do nothing. Now the full reason behind why this was never made obtainable is currently not known, however it is likely due to the fact that it is almost identical to that which appears in the World of Warcraft, however being chained from the Frostmorn to the Icemorn. Adding this item without the permission of Blizzard would have definitely created some sort of legal issue, so it was probably never finished to avoid this. Four. Coming up in the number 4 slot is the Soul Scythe. Now not too much is known of this weapon other than its sprite and name, which also appears to be a reference to a special attack in the Soul Eater anime franchise. Interestingly though, in the 1.2.2 update, the weapon was removed entirely from the game's code, unlike most items which are just kept hidden. When using inventory edits to actually get this weapon, the player is given a red potion which is also unobtainable. The red potion gives the player several debuffs intended to kill the player, much like wearing the developer's armour in a previous update. These debuffs last for 2 hours and can't be stopped using an axe shield. Three. Coming up in the number 3 slot is actually something we've actually had our hands on in the past, the biome key mold. So if you've only just started playing in Terraria 1.3, essentially the mold would be used to make a key that would open one of the various biome chests in the dungeon. This was most likely removed from the PC version however, since the crafting recipe was a little expensive for some of the weapons available, which required a temple key and 5 of each of the mechanical boss's souls to craft. A newer simpler way of doing this is by dropping a normal key and not allowing players to use it until they have defeated Plantera, making the whole process much easier. Two. Now, coming up in the number 2 slot is actually something really cool for the mobile edition of Terraria, labelled the Mysterious Package. The Mysterious Package was intended to be a pet for the game which resembled an Amazon drone and would most likely be available to those who had purchased the Amazon version of Terraria for their tablets. The key feature of the drone is that it would randomly drop books to the player every few minutes. Originally it was made obtainable through hacks but was entirely removed from the game for some unknown reason in the following update. Personally, I think this was a great addition into the game and showed some real creativity and a great opportunity for a brand deal. Shame it never made it in. One. Now, coming up in the number one slot is the most infamous weapon for being removed, the Zappinator. So folklore about this weapon is that it was added during the beta testing of Terraria to be used as a weapon that would slice through enemies so testers could avoid them when testing new features. It was however left in the game by accident when the game launched and was removed in the following update. The Zappinator is based on the Nintendo light gun and dealt about as much damage as a hard mode weapon, which is not actually that powerful now but was back then. Interestingly this weapon can actually be obtainable now in the 3DS version when defeating Plantera, but PC players have yet to see the return of it. So that's about it for today's top 5 list, now I mentioned a bonus one which is this picture that was shown before 1.2 was released. However, the reason I didn't include it despite thinking they look great is because these guys were never actually intended to be added into the game. They were actually an artist mock-up that the developers decided to share. Now make sure to click that subscribe button. Here on Trippy Gaming, I like to do tons of Terraria and I update the channel daily with new and unique content. So if you'd like early access to all of these for free instead of searching, why not click that button? And now, if you're not done binge watching top 5 videos yet, why not check out my most recent one where I talk about the differences Terraria since it launched back in 2011. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Peace.